former White House press secretary and co-host of Outnumbered, Kaylee McEnany. Kaylee, good morning to you. Glad to have you on the network, of course, and with us this morning. So um, what do you make of this? I mean, this is a quick breakneck, 180 reverse in direction, seemingly in response to some tweets and some pressure from the furthest left of the Democratic Party. That's right. It's not surprising. Look, um, Joe Biden has turned out to be what Bernie Sanders predicted would possibly be the most progressive president in history, and he's living up to that reputation. Uh, the reversal on the refugee cap is one example. Court packing is another example. Um, the Green New Deal disguised an infrastructure package is yet another example, but that's one of the clever things that Joe Biden does. I saw a headline that said Joe Biden, despite being progressive, keeps his moderate reputation because what he's doing is is a shell game where he's hiding these progressive packages uh, in different buckets, whether it's Green New Deal and infrastructure, whether it's court packing and a liberal commission that will inevitably uh, come down on the side of court packing. And this refugee cap, it's just another example. AOC, the squad, the far left, pulling the strings. Biden is a mere marionette puppet for whom Ilhan Omar and the like pull the strings and call the shots. I want to leave time for us to talk about this, Kelly, because here's a story that you lived. Many of us watched this story. You lived this story. Just in the past week, it has essentially been admitted. A report came out that the quote unquote Russian bounty story of Russian soldiers putting bounties on American soldiers. And then, of course, the corresponding President Trump won't press Vladimir Putin, won't address this story, was absolutely hyped in the media. And you were at the podium living this story on a daily basis. First, let's take a look back at how this was treated by the mainstream media. To see this threat, this possible bounty on our soldiers be treated so lightly is so inappropriate. It is dereliction of duty. Paying rewards for Americans dead. The president knows it. He's been told. President Trump dismissing the Russian bounty intelligence story. He has still yet to say anything as yeah. the president of the United States about bounties on American troops. And now, of course, the intel community dismissing that story. Kaylee, tell us about what it was like to answer questions about this dismissed story as though it were true and you were indicted on a daily basis. On a daily basis, and this continued for a long time, for months, in fact. And, you know, yesterday I addressed the media coverage of this and how wrong it was and hoping that we will get some sort of correction or an apology. Uh, but today I want to advance this a little further. You know, I mentioned this from the podium that this was a leak from someone in the, intelli in the intelligence community, someone in the deep state, if you will, who was strategically trying to hurt the president. They knew that this was unverified intelligence, nevertheless leaked it to the New York Times. But when you couple this, Will, with the other stories, Story, the horrible story that suggests that the president called our troops suckers and losers, a heinous allegation that was not true at all. When you put the two together, this was a coordinated attempt to try to cleave away the military who supports the president, the conservative base that supports the president, that's patriotic. Uh, you've, you're left with that assumption. And I'll tell you just one note. You know, the president, he was personally upset um, and grieved by that story, especially the one that suggests he called our troops terrible names. He did nothing of the the sort. And it's just a horrible thing for any person to go through, a commander in chief to go through. He loves our troops. And it is absolutely egregious what the media did so to him on this topic. The play, Kaylee, is weak, unsourced material or anonymously sourced material run as true, repeated over and over, multiple channels, multiple nights, asked to you every day, multiple times, as though it's true. You do not denounce, you do not address, because of course it's not true. That makes you the target. And on multiple stories, this is how it played out. And then quietly, Months later, it turns out the stories were not true. That's the game plan. Exactly right. And it, it is, it's wrong. It's wrong. Uh, and it was a, a cohesive narrative. When you put these two together, they were false stories intended to do one thing, change the election for Joe Biden, uh, smear the president with false stories, and try to swing an election. Uh, the media should be ashamed of themselves today, particularly the New York Times. But they will not be. All right, Kaylee, thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you.